Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm gonna make another tutorial, but this is about voice commands. So, to summarize this before we begin, if you can read here, I'm gonna put it because I know people complain about the quad stick, and I do too. Can't help it because it's damn hard. The goal of the quad stick is to be able to extract as much information as possible to basically help the user to have full control of the game as it supplies it. So what I'm basically saying is it's so complicated because games are complicated because you can't use your full functional fingers and just your mouth and it's limited to three buttons. There's so many combinations so you could possibly configure everything as easily as possible. It's a lot of work but in the long run it's worth it. Like I'm shoot I haven't made videos in two weeks and I've been playing The Forest. I've been playing these triple-a game titles I didn't think I was gonna be able to play I think the only things I can't play without with just a quad stick will be like games that I need two analog sticks at the exact same time which was what geometry wars the whole series that's one I can think of or tanks don't really like the game just an example but appreciate that there's something out there that makes things at least easier or at least we can fathom the idea of how it works saying it out there I'm not a dick in this video I'm just decided to talk like me so when you download that link here's it I'm gonna put in the description below the Volcola. you're gonna go to your documents where it's located go to that link Volcola, because that's where your scripts are gonna be and then you're gonna see a bunch of stuff so normally the ones I only worked on were on mine is Gears of War profile and my own Bioshock Infinite and what you don't want to delete especially is the first two on top or the, the ones called include VCH and Quadstick Common VCH. Uh, I made a copy on a new folder in case I mess up. So uh, you really don't want to mess around with those. But if you do, just make a copy. So this is what it normally looks like when you open it and you want to edit it. I edit it through Notepad. So uh, you notice a couple things. All right. So on top left, this is how you write your script. This is Gears VCH. I actually copied Bioshock and then I just added on to that. That's what I expect everybody to do, just because. Uh, so you understand how the flow goes and just write over it little by little. So on top left, when you have a number sign and then after, words after that line, is actually a comment. So I put Gears of War to let me know what game I'm talking about. Right underneath it says load gears. That's actually what verbally I'm going to say when I want to load my script onto the Quadstick Manager so my Quadstick can be incoherent, that made no sense, uh, compatible with voice command and my commands physically then it says equal change title with uh, parentheses quotation and then I called it gears I called it gears because that's what the script is gonna read the commands in the parentheses right below that underneath synonyms and parentheses I really don't know why I put that that's just a comment I guess I gave it some space but it says gears and then colon on the right next to the S and right at the very end of the command I put a next line so I know that that's the only commands in between that colon the colons so that what change title is it changes titles to gears you can put anything you want try to keep it underneath 10 characters but uh, that's what the script is gonna read and then next it says command at the very end of parentheses and then it says colon quote I mean quotation marks load comma gow dot CSV that's what the script is going to call itself at the very end of this whole thing that's what it's gonna load with your commands so basically when you say you load gears it loads this VCH file and it also loads your script file at the exact same time so it can be you know both of them are in sync with each other so I called my CV CV CSV file for my when I play Gears of War GOW so I understand that and it loads Gears VCH at the exact same time. So anyway, it beats changing profiles. So when we look, we notice a lot of commands on the left side and a lot of weird shit on the right side. So this is how it goes. When I say reload on the first command line, I you can put as many spaces as you want. As long as it doesn't have a period, so be careful for uh, punctuation errors. It says equal command. You use command when you want to use a command, 
but when you want to use only one command, not multiple. I'll go over that later. So on the first one it says write underscore one. So that means that's the value, that's the output. You put a comma, then it goes straight to state, which should be zero for off, one for on, and negative one for toggle. And then it says comma, 100, that's how, pers that's how strong I want, 100% pressed. I want it pressed 100%. Then the last one is duration. I want it on for 100 milliseconds. So it's output, state, percentage strength, and duration. You have to put a quotation, I mean, quotation mark, uh, parentheses, and a semicolon at the end. That means you're done with that command line. Then you make another line. I got use, same thing with square, same commands. Squares on for 100 milliseconds max. Take cover, same stuff. Now, chainsaw. For me, if you notice, it's command function. So when I say chainsaw, I have to write it as command function when I'm mo using multiple functions. You would put commands FC, FCN it, so for my name it switches to mode 1 and mode 1 it's written like that because it's already embedded into the quad stick if you look at quad stick common uh, VCH file don't change any of that just leave it as is just understand that it's already there you don't have to really write it over like a script that automatically changes to mode 1 when you say mode 1 it will wait for 100 milliseconds to give the computer time to catch up and then it will do the next command function which is circle which is on for 100 milliseconds forever until I turn it off on my own so uh, that's how func command functions work only when you have a chain of com uh, commands so how the wait function works is uh, if we look onto you know, if we look on to jump up and jump down, jump left, jump right. All right, you don't have to put the wait ten. I don't know why I did that. You can ignore that. You can just go straight to the command function. So if you just have command function, it goes left joystick goes up. So it's on for a hundred strength for a hundred milliseconds. Then it says wait a hundred thirty. So this is how it works, and I put it on the right hand corner. It gets the command function and then the wait in front of it and uses it as a pair. So since my command was 100 milliseconds long, I want my wait to be a little longer since they both activate at the exact same time. And so that means it gives 30 milliseconds extra. Uh, uh, it gives a 30, min 30 millisecond wait till the next function comes out since, you know, 100 minus, I mean, 130 minus 100 is 30. So basically, I'm going to repeat it command function and the weight in front of it are activated at the exact same time and you want the weight to be longer than your duration of your original command previous to it because you want to give the computer time to catch up so after it catches up after 30 milliseconds of rest it activates the X button at a hundred uh, milliseconds same thing for off I like to put off and I actually recommend for everybody to do it sometimes we forget the words reset cancel blah 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 I like to say off because uh, anything I have toggled onto this script so if you look at I'm gonna highlight it too uh, chainsaw I toggle it the negative one I toggle sprint and I toggle scope and if I have all three toggled and I don't have time to say scope off walk and or chainsaw off I just say off and what that command does it says it's a command function so it's a script of them chain it goes back to mode 2, which is my default, what I like to play in, which is right analog stick. I like to play in that mode. It waits for 10 milliseconds, so we have to wait for that. It turns off left 2, which is the aim button for scoping, and then it waits 150 uh, 50 milliseconds, since I have to put it higher than 100. It turns off circle, which is for mine is chainsaw, and then it turns off right 3, which is uh, uh, zoom scope as well. So it turns all of them off. So basically, I'm going to go over and summarize it. Make sure you have an off function in there just in case you want to have reassurance that everything turns off together. Everything goes back to zero, so you can redo it again. Other than that, that's it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep this at a five-minute video or at least ten. Deuce. Deuces. Have fun.